All right, people. Welcome back. More League. Woo! All right. Week before the playoffs. So this is season one. Week seven, match two. Go ahead and tell us what mm -hmm. we got. All right. So this week we have um, we have the Yusei Star Dragons and Mega Chaos, whose decks are Satel Knights, Ritual Beasts, and Heroic Beasts, and it has eight points leading the entire league versus... The Jack Red Archfiends, which is Stu Dog, who has Burning Abyss, Fire Fist, and Worms, and has five points. Right. Who is nice. joint second in the league overall with Ryan, who's in a different division. Yep. It, this is a divisional match. Yep. So, as you can tell by the title, we have Tier 2, Fire Fist, versus Tier 3, Raldic Beast. So, uh, really, once again, just like uh, the last match, this one doesn't matter. There's no possible way that Stu can catch up. You know, Stu wins, he gets one point. <laughs> so, Stu would have six points. I'm like, Omega Chaos has eight wins points, and... so it doesn't Omega... matter. Omega Chaos has his bye week. Yeah. Well, if Omega Chaos wins, Omega Chaos gets and two Omega points Chaos and goes up to ten points. In... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I say, it's just for entertainment's sake. So, let's go ahead and see how we fare. So, we got Stu going first, gonna go ahead and set up the combo. Tanky, get the Leopard, get the Search on, get that Goyoku. Plays are just real. The pluses are just well. Uh, I definitely say that uh, Fire Fist, they just kind of just got outpaced. You know, there's, the, there's just particular decks that are just not, they're not bad. They're still just really good decks. They just got outpaced, you know? Like, I cannot say with a straight face that Fire Fist and Mermels are bad decks because they don't top anymore. They just get outpaced, you know? They just got yeah overpowered, to say the least, you know? They just got power creep. They got power creep. And that's just how Yu-Gi-Oh is. That's why when it comes like the ARG format, I'm like, you're, you're essentially just trying to do the impossible. You know, like I said, and I, I, I don't like to insult ARG, but like I said, you, you just, if, if, if OCG, TCG, and ARG were like political parties, they would be communist. You're, you're literally trying to make every deck even with power, which is essentially impossible. It is. But I do, I do have to commend you on your efforts on trying to balance Necros. It's just, it's just really difficult. It really is. I just think you got to take the teeth out. You know, like I said, you, your new list. I mean, know. I don't. One thing I don't get is cycle, right? The hit cycle down to one. Why don't Necros players just play uh, fulfillment of the contract? Do you know what that is? Yeah, isn't that the one where you like pay? It's like a premature burial, but for rituals. You yeah, pay 800, okay. and it's an equipped spell. You get a ritual monster back from that was ritual summoned from the graveyard. But if it, uh, if the card leaves the field or the monster is destroyed, then it will be banished instead. I don't know. I guess they like to go ahead and play their own cycle, shit, cycle, yeah. just because they can yeah. banish and search. That's yeah, actually one of the key things that makes that went so down good. to one. Why they didn't just put two for some other country? I don't know. I don't keep track of ARG deckless. No. I really don't. <laughs> Me neither. I don't keep track with bloody regular Yu-Gi-Oh! Dattler, so ARG is so far off my radar. Like I said, if, if, it, if it wasn't for Vexicus, I really wouldn't know what decks are even <laughs> doing well. Anyway, so I'm going to just throw the MST at this uh, one set card that we don't know Stu's, which of course was uh, another MST. I'm going to note that that's a Tenki, that's a Goyoku, so it's time to go in. So we see how Special Summon Halberd. Normal summon, uh, is it Amber Conway? I'm assuming so. Yeah, Amber Conway. Attack, attack. Oh, Amber Conway, yeah. And then going into Plinko or Patriarch. Yep. I think Plinko was a better name. Yeah, I like the name Plinko better. Generally, though, that's how I feel about most. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, God. Oh, uh, no. Omega's gonna fist him. Yep, I think it's time for the fisting. A pretty good. <laughs> And of course, Omega would say that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and again, then again, all five of Omega Chaos's favorite uh, spell cards are all rank up cards. Mm -hmm. <gasps> so, are we to assume that Omega's favorite protagonist is Yuma? <laughs> my God, I hope not. <laughs> like I say, if you guys watch Spider Man Y, you guys should know who my favorite protagonist is. And don't assume that it's Jaden just because of you, Bell. Yugi. No. <laughs> it's Yami Yugi. No. <laughs> not, not even... It's Tomato Head. Wait. No. I mean, Yuya. <laughs> no, it's not you either. Come on. Oh, damn. <laughs> it's Jaden. <laughs> I just said it wasn't Jaden. 
<laughs> Yugi! I'm done with you. <laughs> See everybody but the fucking correct person. Oh, you the mean the one that is, oh, you mean the one that isn't as good as Jack? Got you. All right. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. So, so he's still going to go ahead and activate Goku to try to go ahead and bait out the giant hand. Because if you guys do not know, the red giant hand is uh, not optional. It is mandatory. Nope. It's a mandatory thing. So it's like, nope. You got to. Yep. You got to. You got to negate. So there we go. <laughs> We see his giant hand negating that Goku. Hopefully, that one set card <laughs> won't. And something to stop him. Yeah, it won't be something to stop Stu. It won't bite Stu in the butt. So now Stu is pretty much free to do whatever Stu wants to do as long as that set card doesn't stop him. So we see Stu activating Tenki. Maybe, uh, maybe see search a little spirit. bit of. Uh, yep, search spirit. Spirit, go ahead and summon back uh, Cock. Can't go ahead and uh, slap him around the face. I mean, uh, get a, get a search. And get a search. Throw it in. Maybe the Goyoku. Actually, if I were him, if I could, yeah, that's what I'd do. I'd search for spirit. Spirit, wow. go ahead. No, he's not. But I'd search for summon spirit. Summon uh, cock. Because you just get way more advantage that way. Yeah. Rooster, go ahead and search for everybody in this, which you're gonna search for anyway. There we go. Bombless. Mm. Whoa. That hurts. See? That really hurts. Then um, again, he would have just well, I make chaos would have just bottomless the uh, the cock, so. But you still would have got the search, right? I think hmm? so. I think I think I think cock is fifteen. I want to say. I think it is. Yeah. I don't know. It would definitely it definitely would be by the time it touched the field with those three up. But it would still be special summon, so you'd still get your additional search, and you would yeah, have you Tensu. Would, but... So you would still be good, yeah. If you would spirit summon spirit, spirit would summon cock bottomless. All right, still get your search Tensu, get your additional summon. Yeah, but if that wasn't bottomless, or you know, say it was like a mirror force or something, or something slower, spirit, spirit, summon cock. Get your search of your uh, burning abyss. Uh, go into, I mean, use your cock. Switch to Goyoku for another Goyoku. Goyoku, or does that have to be a different one? It has to. I think it has to be a different one. I don't know too much. You know about, what? I know it can be the same. I think it okay. could be the same. Let me double check it. I'll look. Yeah, it up. look at cock. Tell me what's attack and tell me what's effect. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll look up some cards. Don't worry. Look out! Right, look up some cocks. I'll, for me. I'll, I'll research cock. Don't worry. We'll do this. I'll, I'll show you the cock. I'll show you the power of it. Okay. All right. What's the big black effect? All right. Hang on. Let me just have a look at the power of the cock. All right. Hang on. All right. Uh, when this card special summon by the effect of a fire fist monster, add a fire fist monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of cock once per turn. Uh, once per turn, you c once per turn send one fire formation spell slash trap you control to graveyard set one, so it doesn't have to be different. No, right, yeah, yeah. I would switch out the Goyokus. then go ahead and uh, go into a Vulcan. Vulcan bounce the giant hand, bounce back your tanky. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yep. Stu messed up. You must, you must play Stu. I mean, uh, like I said, you couldn't assume that that oh. That's that card was a uh, bottomless, but anyway. Oh well, we're a bit ahead here. <laughs> I, I messed up. I messed up. I apologize, people. I messed and, up. And uh, I paused dead. it for the siding, which usually fucking stands yelling at me, but then I forgot to unpause when I start. Anyway, uh... and you dared to have a go at me for not editing out properly a siding bit. I. You know what's your fault for making you me are... fucking pause the video from when they're siding? It's your bloody fault. You're the one editing. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and explain what happened. So, no surprise, surprise, uh, Omega actually pulls off uh, a, giant, a first turn giant hand again, but Stu actually gets away with it, being able to bait out and then bear throw the chair. But then, of course, playing code gets effect, sends uh, the unicorn, and we're essentially at where we are. Now. Yeah. yeah, we're set up now. So, I apologize. Uh -huh. I think we're like three turns in. Like I said, it took me a while to notice, because, uh, like I said, when I record post commentary, uh, I try to keep myself spoiler free, so that's it. That's it. You're fired. The league is now mine. No, you're already fired. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't fire me when you're already fired. <laughs> All right, you fucked up with the point system. We're not going to talk about that. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I apologize, people. So, you didn't yeah, really I... miss much. You really didn't miss much. You just mm -hmm. saw Stu get over a giant hand. At the most, but then you know, with the plain coat, the patriarch, the setup is still real, and we already know the power of that. <laughs> uh, 
I'm hungry. <laughs> and you can't even have dick because of your diet. No, you can't, I can't even. You can't even fucking suck on Stu's cock over there. I don't remember if Stu was Pause. even played cock <laughs> <since though. laughs> You You just want to see Stu get out his cock because you're feeling hungry. Oh, yeah. Mm. Get 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 his cock out of his dick. I mean, Dad. Wow, we both get the compulsion there. We're both compulsion. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Come on. Oh. Oh. I got who's on the cart to the right, and Stu is struggling. I'm saying, Firefest are actually pretty good at top decking. You know, you know, nice tanky, a nice wolf bark. But the problem yeah. is, is that. The more that the longer it takes Stu to get set up, the longer you know Omega can go ahead and get resources. And of course, you're probably wondering why isn't uh, Omega attacking? The Fiendish train is clearly on the Amber Conway. So, mm -hmm. and we are just seeing draw set, draw set, draw oh, set. That's set. like what was it? Was that duel where they had like what three, four fucking turns of just draw set? Mm hmm. I, mm. That's duel either ten out of ten would bank again, IGN. <laughs> You're all set, you're all set, you're all set. <laughs> See, Patrick assuming... Hoban's jealous of this pro level gameplay. Alright, you're seeing Spirit. Spirit for the oh. effect, but at this point, there we go. Back row. Daniel's going to see exactly what he wants. He's going to see Stu's cock. Oh, Ooh, you block with the lamp. Oh, you are going to see his cock. Are today. we going to see Stu's cock right now, people? Are we going to see Stu's cock? Stu, just whip it out and slap it onto the fucking board. Do it. No. <sighs> Oh. <laughs> There's cock. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Do you like the cool eye man? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So I, I I don't know what Stu says spirit effect. I think he means cock effect, but he typed spirit, so Cock effect, rooster effect, go ahead and get that search kit special summon. And like I said, there is a lot of back row back there, so no one just still have to get through all that back row, but then, you know, hope that uh, Omega can't bounce back into the duel with more resources and monsters. Nah, that back row is all bluffs. It's three Xyz Encores and a uh, MST. <laughs> it's all bluffs, don't worry about it. So, uh... So, what are we going to be seeing here? Are we going to be seeing, uh... uh Rooster Second Effect? Get rid of that Goyoku, which is like I said, is on is on the card underneath uh, Emperor Kamui. Or are we just gonna see go straight to a single Sasek C summon? I'm gonna head and looking at various effects, being like, wait a minute. <laughs> you just wanted to inspect his car. Yeah, I didn't expect the car. And so I look up occasionally, and now I'm definitely trying to keep my eye on the duel because uh, I fucked up and unpaused the wrong time. I was like, wait a minute. Why isn't the timer on Camtasia counting? Like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm so bad. I, I am filth. <laughs> I done goofed. I done fucked up. <laughs> so we see, we see uh, yeah. Stu sitting here thinking. You're, yeah, you you're, want... def you're definitely fired for next season. Yeah, I'm fired. I'm fired yeah, you're for fired for next league. season. It's going on my channel, guys. So, uh, oh, you better all sub to me because, you know, it's definitely going to be on my channel. Because Daniel can't fire me, because unlike Daniel, I have a union. I have the fucking Stonzy 87 union. I have union rights, so he can't fire me, but I can fire him. Oh, okay. Yeah. I exactly. didn't know that union allowed you to fire your own fucking boss. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's the best union ever. Anyway, we're actually seeing Rooster Effect, so he's going to go ahead and get rid of the Guayoku, which frees that uh, card under uh, Emperor Conway for a tanky. Mm-hmm. So let's see if that risk is worth it. <laughs> so we're gonna see an XC summon, maybe a Synchro summon. A little so bit of horse it was the, Yeah, it was the card on the Abercomway that was uh, Goyoku, wasn't it? Yes. Alright. So now Stu is just taking a millennium to think what he wants to do. <laughs> that pro would already go into go Vulcan. Here. Yeah. Vulcan bounce the Abercomway, bounce your fiendish chain. Oh. Are you can exceed into uh oh is that f yeah he that yeah. guy with some decent attack he's all right <coughs> black on of course on the fucking card that you no <laughs> no it doesn't work by switching it to defense 
<laughs> nice try. <laughs> the one card that it, <laughs> that you let up on Goya okay, was something fucking... to get you. That's funny. That's so I. That, uh... That's just. What would you say that? What would, what would that be? That would be. Is that ironic? I don't know if that's ironic. That's just fucked up. What that is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't know my grammar. You guys know. You I, you you can barely fucking type English. I can't. Yeah, I can't spell. I can't read. <laughs> the only good thing you've got is numbers. That's all you've got. I said. I think. Shit, you not. The last time I've read, like actually read a textbook. Uh, when's the last time I read a textbook? Oh my god, this is going back some years for you. I isn't know it? it is. It really is. When's the last time I read a textbook? Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, we're just gonna see this all morning on the. We're just gonna, we're just gonna see back road. The back road is a, is going to be <laughs> abundant in this duel, clearly. Mm hmm. Hmm. No, no, I didn't read the textbook of that class either. Oh my god. No. I probably you... had to say my f freshman year of college. So how old would you were you then? Eighteen. And you're twenty one now. <laughs> I don't read. <laughs> Even now to this day, my history class, my Nevada history class, I don't read the books then. <laughs> I'm gonna go more about in detail on daily duels on uh Yeah 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 it's terrible. On Monday, but I don't read. I even talked I even did a daily duels discussing that I can't read. My mind is like bad. <laughs> if, I, if I don't want to read, I will not read. I will be reluctant to read. I'll sit, there, I'll read, I'll scan the pages with my eyes, but my mind will be like, fuck this, I don't want to do this, and I, will, I won't remember shit. So what's your the mind point will, of Your mind will be like, ha, you can go do that. I'm off over here thinking this. Fuck you. <laughs> like, come on, brain, we gotta read this. Like, shit, you no. gotta read this. I ain't yeah, I it. don't. <laughs> anyway, we're saying an ass ton of back row. The only question is, is that, you know, can I make a stall out Stu long enough to go ahead and just win this duel? Oh, God's sake. Oh, my God. Oh, number generator. <laughs> that vanity's gone. Look at this, people. Look at this. I, oh, my God. <laughs> uh, just building up resources, playing back row, building up resources, playing back row. Ridiculous, people, isn't it? Be fucking ridiculous. <laughs> so we're seeing uh, spirit. Spirit's gonna go ahead and summon. Right. Now don't go into that fucking Xyz again. Go into the bloody synchro. I mean, Blackhorn is Blackhorn either way. So. <laughs> well, I know, but I don't know. You would have got more plus though, and more advantage off the synchro. Or even, like I said, even going into Vulcan, just bounce his Abacan way, bounce your fucking fiendish. You know, or bounce something, you know, there you are. Because the Abba Conway, what can it do to you? Nothing. Exactly, can't do shit to a Vulcan. Or well, at least you get your Fiendish Chain back to reset and fuck him over later with. Mm -hmm. You're going into that damn... I was about to say, you're going into that damn fucking Xyz again. Yeah. Another black horn, go! I'm going into Zen memes. Okay... <laughs> you said, I mean, a Fiendish Chain is a Fiendish Chain. So, uh, I, I don't know. I would have probably went on the offensive right now. Oh. Just gonna go ahead and throw the dark hole. De detach with the Zen mains. And get rid of the Fiendish Shade. And then pop during the end phase. Mind over matter. Ooh, that's good card. Yep, too bad. There's no psychic. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's been a cool minute since Mega was able to go ahead and summon out Patriarch. And another Heraldry Art. Oh, okay. <laughs> First one was Blocking of Vanities, but this one, unless there's a Solemn Warning played. <laughs> yeah. Didn't Steve play Solemn Warning? Or is that last duel? I don't remember at this point. There's just so much background. No. Obviously, Stu had to look at Stu's life points. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I 
don't believe him against played up start this duel, so. <laughs> might be, uh, might be super solemn. Pay 500 instead of 2,000. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you imagine if that was the case? There we go. Here's Patriarch. Said both of them, it's just weird that they're both going on defensive right now. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, I guess Exton wouldn't have been bad. I don't know. Yeah, Exton would have been better because he could have done the double wipe. Yeah. Yeah, I would have Exton. Mm hmm. Clear up back row. Get rid of that tanky just in case. Unless those two cards are something really bloody good that Omega Chaos has got set. They're artifacts. Like, unless mm -hmm. their uh, mind ever matters. Yeah, uh, if their mind ever matters, then I'll see what you're no, doing. Oh yeah, fair enough, but if they're not... I would have Exiton. Mm-hmm. Even double Exiton. Because... Omega Lone went down to two cards, while Stu, of course, would still have four, so... Yep. Go ahead and next time again, get killed that Zen main before it pops you during the phase, and then you still mm -hmm. at least have a 19 beater. So he doesn't yeah. have a tanky to even, you know, bear throw a chair at you. But let's see what Stu does here. If Stu just summons bear throws the chair and Omega doesn't, like, mind over matter him, then, my god. And then that possibly might be game depending on the back row. Because Patriarch is nice, it floats a little bit, but it's just a little bit too slow, you know. If it's summon bear throw the chair, bear come at you, Zen Mains come at you, that's game. So, gonna go ahead and see MST on one of the back row. And it's Toronto. Alright, mm -hmm. that, that would have been nice for a Mega Chaos, so good hit left, Stu. Oh. Mm -hmm. You're seeing the summon the Leopard. Leopard's gonna go ahead and grab what? Guayoku? Tensu. Okay, that may be Guayoku to, to put a stop to the other set card. I'm gonna go ahead and see Tensu. Tensu is gonna get an additional summon of what? Uh, was it Beast Warrior Monster? Yeah. Mm. What's she summoning? Gorilla. Okay. Gorilla, get rid of the tanky, pop that, yeah. Yeah. Do they use the background of the gorilla or not? It's a mirror force. Okay. So all that back row has officially been cleaned up. I'm back. Yeah, I would have exitomed. For the sakes of a mirror force and the TT, I would have exitomed. Yeah, I would have exitomed. I mean, it's thinking. Like I said, you're gonna go on the offensive, try to come after that, uh, that, uh, gorilla with, uh, Patriarch and then set some back row. I know two, I only have two cards in your hand, but. It seems like a fine play right now. Like it doesn't seem like it's time for you to go on the defensive right now. You gotta push. Ooh, this is a long duel. <laughs> yep, it is. Thinking is real. Like I said, Stu kind of turned that duel around, I must say. That was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Spurring up the back row is never bad. Seeing a normal summon of a Leo, which of course will be destroyed by its own effect in phase. Oh, seeing a summon of a Kage. So we're seeing Mega reveal the Kage. And right. Mind my mind crush. crush. Yep. Yeah. Damn. And that that might be it. Damn. <laughs> I mean, you can run over the, uh, the gorilla, gorilla, and then it will die because it was normal summoned on the end phase and get a search, but... At this point, that? it's not looking too hot. Gorilla goes and dies, it takes 300, it still has plenty of life once to spare. And at this point, I, I don't know, I don't know. I think it might be it. I think we might be going on to game two. I mean, three. We're already at game two. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going on. on to game two when we're already in game two. 
That's Daniel logic right there. We're just gonna restart the duel. <laughs> yeah. So Leo dies by film effect, and we'll be seeing him search up Amber Conway. So, not much use right now. We already seen Amber Conway in the duel once, so. Mm -hmm. Possibly another. Oh my god. Oh god, here we go. Yeah, here we go. So, we're gonna go ahead and see. Spin we'll... that with Castell. Spin that with Castell. We'll keep resources attack, with Tiger. Attack, attack, GG. Yeah. Castell. Yeah. Spin that away. Yep. Attack, attack, get it. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we are moving on to game three. And I, I got it right this time. <laughs> Woo! You didn't skip two whole turns. Or was it three now, you're telling me? I think it was Stu Omega Stu. So, yeah. I, I, I remembered right at the middle of Stu's second turn. Seeing Omega go first, I'm in Amphisbina, set 2, MST, the Mirror Force. Gorilla, maybe activate the Tanky, and Gorilla throw the... Chair, flip, I guess. Well, flip uh, the table. Yeah, I guess. No, Bear throws a chair. Oh, damn, sorry. Ooh. No, Gorilla throws a stool at you. Attack. Dark Dimps Step Lance. Yeah? Yeah? There we go. Ooh. There we are. Whew. Not only killing your monster, but also go ahead and getting the search, and then Girl is going to go ahead and throw, I mean, flip the table on your other back row. Damn. Damn. That has to hurt. That right. has to hurt. Holy crap. That oh, was well. Just, that was a beautiful play. Mwah. Tanky search. This is not looking great for Omega so far. Well, oh, least... damn. MST. Yeah. Nice. At least there's the MST, so... At least no search, but damage is done. Alright. So you gotta get something on board mm -hmm. with two back rows. Uh, not looking favorable for a mega here. Leo? Yeah. That's... Bombless? That would be a joke. Just <laughs> that would be out. That... Ooh, that wouldn't be good. Okay. No point in mirror forcing. I haven't seen a D present from you, so. Attack's gonna go ahead and go through. No back row from Omega. We're just gonna see the end phase, Leo search, so. That is pretty much just leaving an open field for Stu to get it in. Thank God yeah. that set card was MST, because. If was... not, that would have been really bad. Yep, yeah, techie search for Bear. So let's just hope, just hope that Stu doesn't have a Bear. Please, no. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, There's Wolf Mark. Yeah. There we go. Tiger? There we go. Tiger would be a great choice. Yeah, and get the. Yeah, yep. and get tanky, the tanky. Just stay hella up on resources. Yeah. Well, uh, I'd like to say uh, this was a good game, Stu. Uh, you did really well. Think you search for Omega Chaos tried so hard and got so far, but in the end it didn't even matter. Now Daniel's gonna get hit by copyright strikes because I said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh dare you! I've been getting a couple of third party from way back in the past. Probably YouTube shitty content ID system. Seriously, it's like, hey, you used this way long ago. Now you fucking are violating copyright. Not back then, but now, like, what? <laughs> Makes um, no sense. And we see the techie search of another wolf bark. So even if shit hits the fan, hopefully those three cards are able to stop an next time. Ooh. Yeah, I hope. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. that's a nice. If you're going to top deck something in Heraldic, so that's probably the best. And Heraldic Art. Another Vanities. So then I've got to assume that Stu doesn't have Warning or, uh. Mm hmm. Or Vanities, because otherwise there'd be no reason why you wouldn't chain it to stop that. Yep. No reason. 
summon those two and immediately exceed to Exiton? They might as well. Yeah, I would exit I would exceed Exiton. Hell yes I would. Go, go into Exiton. Don't do a Tyler and not go into X. Thank you. I was about to say. <gasps> about to say, don't fucking forget Exiton exit. Alright. Come on. So, Exiton okay. effect. Right. And then Fiendish Chain. Probably. No. No, no response. No response to that. There you go. Nah, uh, I'd fucking call it. Yep. Snuggles are real in this duel. Mm-hmm. This dude, once again, is just locking it down. Alright, Leo fight. I'm gonna go ahead and see the search. Snuggle is real. This dude does not want to lose. This dude's like, I am going to fucking beat Omega. <laughs> I will do it. Even though Omega still gets the bye week. I will win. I will beat you. Using the power of Yu-Gi-Oh! I will win. Yes. In the normal summon of Amber Conway, Villa Nakaye. And get my and crust. <laughs> wow, I called it! Damn. I called the fiendish and the man crush, and no, I didn't know that was going to happen for anyone's sales. I'm not. I this is the first time I'm seeing this. If anyone would have been able to predict know it, it would have been Daniel since he recorded it. There's another side card. There's another good card you can go ahead and side mind crush if you're not main decking it. I'm maining it at three with wow. Blackhorn. Damn. Yeah, like I said, ritual beasts have times where they just don't open up well at all so if i'm not going to open up well that's fine but i'm going to fuck you up as much as i can so i can get a fusion on the board and then you're going to get fucked so much acro my trap line up in that deck is uh triple steeds uh triple mine crush triple black horn double ambush um double fiendish chain solemn vanities bottomless and something else Solemn Vanities Bottomless and some other card, I don't know. Seeing yet another wolf by play, he searched off his ten key. Like seeing the what? Castell. Okay. Castell effect? Wow. He turned the Amber Conway so it doesn't get its effect. Mm-hmm. Smart play. Yep. Doesn't have to worry about the X tongues, the X tongue effect is still negated by the fiendish. So Yep, so um, attack goes through. Castell getting it in too. We're getting to the bare minimum here, people. Alright, so is this it, Omega? Isn't it scoop time? I think it might be. I don't see. Oh god. Damn. Um, yeah. What was it? That, oh, that would have been nice. Yep, that's it. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. That's it. GG. Damn. Alright, people. So there you have it. So, like I said, despite Stu winning, really doesn't change much. Stu goes up to, what, six points, but Omega still has eight. It's the final week, and uh, Omega gets the bye week, so... Uh, yep. Omega gets so the I bye week. Omega's too. done the best out of everyone in the league. I think Omega's only lost... Twice. Twice, yeah. Yep, so, that was a good duel. That was a really good duel. So, anyway, like I said, Omega gets the bye week. Stu still making it to the playoffs. So, in the regional division, we're going to have Stu versus Slate. And maybe, hopefully, uh, Stu is hoping that he can beat Slate in the playoffs, and... Um, go off against Omega again, again, once again, in the playoffs. So anyway, I hope that you guys are looking forward to it. So thanks for watching another uh, episode of the league, another match. So of course, tomorrow we got two more matches for you guys. So if you guys are looking forward to it, going to wrap up the regular season. So thank you, Stondi, once again for joining us. No problem. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and see you guys tomorrow with some more league. Alright people, thanks for watching.